Hey guys, Toxic Style Gaming. I'm Mike. This is Dylan here. We're going over some uh, reprints today. And, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's me. That's me. I'm going that's to me. We're going over some reprints. <laughs> uh, Crazy Nats announcements. Uh, they're going to have two of them. I mean, not technically. I mean, we had the early, one earlier this year, so we do have technically two in the same year because we have one in September and another one coming out in January. So two seasons of it, of Nationals announced. Yeah. And then uh, tons of other really exciting news. Uh, and then still stuff we're going to be waiting to hear about uh, potential more reprints too. So, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, uh, lots of exciting news has come out. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see, especially this Nats thing. Uh, we'll delve more into that here in a little bit, talk a little bit more about it, but lots of exciting stuff coming. Uh, first things up, so uh, we know there's a premium booster collection set coming out. Uh, honestly, not exactly positive of when it drops. I think it's, pr I have to imagine September, October area uh, because the structured extra dropping in August. So, uh, yeah, August, right? End of August, beginning of September, something like that is when the uh, structures are dropping. If I remember correctly, so yeah, probably around August I started X coming. So yeah, so I mean I have to imagine this can be coming afterwards, but we'll see how it goes. Safe um, bet, some point between like tomorrow and a year and a half from now. Yeah, at some point we will see them. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so yeah, so we'll see whatever happens there, how things go. But a couple of new things that come out. Obviously, one of the big leaders that has come out that a lot of people have been talking about is Sanji. So he is a five life, five K power strike, uh, straw hat crew, obviously. Uh, but his effect is just crazy. So, uh, activate main once per turn up to one of your cost eight or lower characters without an on play effect gains rush until the end of this turn. So, uh, this is huge, obviously, because we know that red already has so much aggro, so much power that it can push out. So to give more characters, uh, rush and just build that aggression even faster, uh, it's, it's going to be a while. Yeah, it feels like more of a, like, as opposed to Zoro, which relies on a lot of five, six, some sevens, mm -hmm. this feels like a very mid rangey to top end aggressive red. And it's really hard to get over, like, especially if you play the vanillas in there with those huge bodies, six costs, 8K, you know, mm -hmm. a seven, nine, uh, eight tens. It's going to be wild. Uh, I have to assume we'll get some more support. We'll get some cards that he has more synergy with and can make full use of, like, on attack abilities or anything like that. Shaka is one I was thinking of that would work really well with him just to mm -hmm. get even more DOM manipulation and more power coming through there. But, yeah, super excited for this one. Yeah, especially anything uh, if we start seeing stuff that has more, <laughs> like, uh, when attacking effects and stuff. Yeah. Because, I mean, to get those rushing faster is just going to be crazy. Yeah, and they effectively, so. with this guy, become on play. Yeah. Because you're getting him right away. Yep. So, uh, interesting to see. Uh, Zoro Juro. Uh, so... Uh, purple, this one's coming in the structure deck. Uh, it's an SR there. Uh, on play, look at top five cards, reveal a purple straw hat crew, put it into your hand, the rest on the bottom of the deck. So it's a four cost searcher. Uh, it's a four six, so that is nice at least. Um, and yeah, searcher, a purple straw hat crew, so that does definitely make me believe that we are going to see a lot more straw hat crew cards coming. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see that though as well. Yeah, we got a decent number of them right now, but yeah, four cost, six power that searches. I mean, no counter, but I'll take it. You already get. A lot of value off it. First thing I thought of was like purple black deck mix, maybe like a gecko, something something cool mm -hmm. in there. But yeah, looks nice. And then up next we got Hina. So uh, it, just so you guys are aware too, uh, we're just going through our Discord talking about them. Uh, if you guys ever are interested in checking out any of our stuff, uh, I always leave the Discord link in our descriptions <coughs> below. So make sure to check that out. Uh, join our Discord. We do usually have conversations about this stuff. Uh, just comment, talk about everything there as well. So, but, uh, so we got Hina coming out, another, again, structure deck for four drop six. Uh, Don one during opponent's turn, it has plus four cost. Uh, and then activate main once per turn. Uh, place one card from trash, bomb of your deck, give up to one of your leaders, uh, rest at Don. So, um, not a bad card by any means. Just, you know, just boost up a character for no reason, essentially. Just by bottoming one of your trash, so... Always solid. Yeah, a little extra aggression. Uh, got, well, especially on the 4 6 body, the mm -hmm. 4 cost 6k. Uh, yeah, just being able to bottom deck a card, which has tons of synergy with black, and then uh, give him Rest of Dawn, give him more utility. It's like really kind of something we've only seen with red. But then also, mm -hmm. Dawn X1 during opponent's turn, uh, getting plus 4 cost, massive. I mean, yeah. it, it just makes it so. I don't know. It, we haven't really seen it too much in our meta, but I have played in like the 08 meta. And the, the plus cost, it really almost feels like, if you played MTG, it feels like hex proof. If you played Yu-Gi-Oh, it feels like can't be destroyed, can't be targeted by. Because it's just, these stick on board. Like, yep. I, I've played a lot with, uh, not this, but Jack, the seven cost, that pumps up by four, so he's an 11 cost. And he just sticks on board. He's staying there. If you don't run him over, like, physically, you're not removing him with, like, you know, dropping costs and getting a Luchi. I mean, mm -hmm. getting some down to 11 to a two is pretty rough. 
So, yeah, nice, nice defense there. Then uh, up next, so we do got uh, Katakuri coming out, uh, five cost, 6K strike. Um, so he is a blocker. So obviously a new five drop, 6K blocker is always nice. Mm -hmm. uh, once per turn, activate main. Uh, you may turn the top card of your life face up and then give your leaders uh, one rest at dawn. So another one where we're starting to see this now in multiple colors, uh, giving things rest at dawn. Mm. Yeah, this is something that's really nice for Katakuri because one, you can go first and do this on turn three and still get your 7k swing mm -hmm. but also just having a five cost 6k blocker for that deck yeah i mean it's just quality i mean the rich get richer so we'll see i mean a definitely probably a nice addition to it for sure all right trafalgar law on play you may return one of your characters to its owner's hand if your leader has the seven warlords of the c type return up the one cost four lower character to its owner's hand not great i'm not a big fan of that but it's there i mean it's, Bounce some like Sengoku, like a searcher. Yeah. Maybe a uh, decent decent tempo play. Like it's not it's not a bad card, but I mean it's really gonna be matchup dependent for this to be too useful. I have to imagine it's gonna have synergy with something, and maybe just more stuff coming out. We'll have to see. But um, yeah, well, we we have to imagine there's more coming. As it stands right now, you bounce back your Sengoku or your Perona or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> up next, Uda. So uh, four drop six K Uda. Uh, it is a blocker, so another Uda blocker here. Uh, main ones per turn, uh, same thing. Uh, trash a film type card from your hand and give your leader up to one year rested uh, dawn. So this one, I'm not as much of a fan of, obviously, because you do have to trash a film from hand. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't like that effect. Um, I wish it would have been, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like there's other stuff that they could have done. Maybe like, because I mean like, what the category you just have to flip your life up uh the black you have to trap you have to bottom something from trash I, I just feel like there's so many things that they could have done if it had been something like look at the top card of your life if it's a film give arrest to dawn hmm. something like that i think would have been a little bit better uh because i feel like trashing a film card just to give one rest of dawn just doesn't sound good yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's definitely the worst of the abilities there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using it with Uda, you almost immediately get that value back, but it doesn't feel good. Like, you're not plussing for the turn, but you do get that 6K swing. Statistically likely to get a film card to replace it with that 6K swing mm -hmm. on top of it with Uda via its ability, but the 4-cost 6K blocker is what I love because now you can cut the yeah. Zoro garbage and and just run this because i mean it's strict upgrade when you go that uh zoro or the luffy seven cost into like a 6k zoro and said you just drop this now you have two blockers above 5k that you can use to chump i think it's a massive improvement for the deck but yeah the ability is pretty lackluster but if you need to going second like four costs trash a film card that might not be useful in that matchup get a 6k swing with yuda to potentially get something useful yeah. it would suck if you whiff on that one like throwing a card away to get that 6k to mm -hmm. surge but yeah. Yeah, no. Oh. Um, but yeah, so then uh, Newgate, uh, seven drop. Uh, on play, give up one of your leader's characters uh, one rest at dawn. And then activate main. You may rest this character, KO opponent's character with 5k or less. So uh, this one obviously being uh, another one of those rest at dawn, uh, just, just by playing it. So, uh, which, I mean, obviously we know here these are once per turn effects activate main so i mean this one's different because it's not a once per turn effect it's just an on play effect so i'm okay with that uh may rest this ko an opponent's character with five careless power that's pretty big love that uh, so yeah i'm i'm interested to see how that plays yeah immediate value off it i mean the rest of dawn just you know it's gravy it's just this gratuitous extra thing you get because it's already a solid card mm -hmm. i mean se seven <clears throat> excuse me, seven dawn coming down and tap something down and Likely KOing something when it hits, and then you have a, what is it, an eight? Yep. AK body. I mean, that's that's nice. Yeah. It's quality. So, and then uh, say a couple, only a couple more cards here to talk about. Uh, this one, so obviously the uh, new Odyssey game is coming out here soon, and we'll talk about that here in a moment as well. Uh, so, this one, uh, Lim, uh, it's the new purple leader from 09. So, uh, I think this is the first 09 leader announced. Um, it's going to be uh, four life, five, uh, 500 power, or 5,000 power. Uh, your character, your characters enter play as rested, so that's a huge downside. 
Yeah, it, it's got a. It's similar to I mean, Cal, Calgara. Is that what the pronunciation for? Yeah, it? Calgara. Oh, yeah. Where everyone roasted it when it came out, and, like initially, and people were like, "This is the worst leader." Like, oh, like like tons of memes. Like, this is not going to get anything. Mm-hmm. Or like, Bandai forever the leader, except Calgara is like on a desert somewhere dying. <laughs> of, you know, and then he actually ends up being one of the better leaders. So it's really going to depend on what it, it gets to make it worth it. Because when you first read your character's end of play is rested, that's trash. That, but if it gets yeah. good enough support, then it could be really good. And that's just like its its way of making it attempt to be more fair. Because you do get that ramp and then you play a five cost or less for free. Yeah, I mean, you, you rest three, set one, set up to one as rested. So you you ramped on and then you get to play a five or five or less. I mean, that's cool. It will come in rested, which stinks. But uh, we'll see. I mean, it is a super- the idea of that's a very strong play to to spend to bring out a five cost four three and then grab an add extra on. added on on top of it does seem like a strong play but it's going to be dependent on what it gets for support. Well, and to be fair though, this one also does. Uh, it is uh, locked into Odyssey, so you have to play a five. You can't just play any five cost. No, 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 no yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's going to be that's why we're locked in. Because yeah, if it was anything, I'd already say it was pretty solid. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm really having to see the support, which we're going to talk about here. Uh, this one, um, the limb as well, uh, two cost zero power. Uh, it's a blocker, and at the end of your turn, if you have two or more Odyssey type rested characters, set this card as active. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll really have to see what some of the other support is because, again, this is another one where the effect just. I mean, I don't know why you'd be tapping this down for stuff if it's, it's end of your turn. Yeah, it's likely one of those like if you bring it in with your. Um leader because I all of your characters yeah, come in rested, rested, so I mean they'll just have to be, and so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of untapped tap shenanigans. If you have this on tap, so yeah, when you play it, it comes in tapped, and it's so and then uh, Adio, uh, this one four cost five k, uh, it's two k counter, so that is nice. Uh, if you have two or more Odyssey type characters, this card gains plus one k. So I mean it's a, essentially a four six if you have two or more Odyssey rested, which most of your stuff is going to be rested because that's how it's coming in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it just depends um, on what comes out for it. Yeah, not a whole lot to say about these ones yet here. Uh, but next up, so we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that has been announced with the new uh, with the stream that happened. Uh, we saw them talk about obviously uh, the new 09 set coming. Um, with uh, looks like it's gonna be a four emperor set. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see exactly how they're gonna play that out. Yeah, yeah, you could tell with uh, the emperor, like the primary emperor of the sea, Buggy. The, oh, Buggy. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Buggy there, so you know it's going to be like a really top tier set. Well, and a lot of people are excited because uh, you have to imagine there's going to be a Buggy leader, right? You like, would, like, like you, you would I would think. imagine if he's on the pack. It'd be so strange. Either You're, that or like a primo secret at worst. Or um, the manga. Could, yeah. be the, could Buggy be the manga? Me personally, I really want to see a good Blackbeard leader. I think, I mean, we know Blackbeard's one of the strongest in the show. I really want to see him be, like, a solid leader. I want to get a really solid Blackbeard leader 20 years from now. <laughs> Maybe 25, because he started off in the show super hyped. Yeah. And then we've still got nothing. And that show started in 1999. Thank God I didn't start watching it back then. I'd be furious that it's 2024, and here we are. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so who knows? Oh nine, uh, that'll drop. Uh, gosh, it's gonna be like December, November, something like that. I was probably looking yeah. at that. So we'll end, see. End of the year, right? or maybe early next year. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, then next, of course, Lim. We talked about that one already. Uh, some of the new stuff coming out. Uh, yeah, I mean, this looks cool. Anniversary uh, box. It looks like it finally got a good box. Some dice in there. Cool mm-hmm. sleeves. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. Is that a play mat? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, looks like I, this is so the play mat. Um, gosh, I think this was like a deck bo- or like a long box, like to put stuff in. Um, storage boxes, stuff like that's a big thing that they do. Dice, which is cool actually. Very cool. Um, and then sleeves, stuff like that. So yeah, looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so the new anniversary box, some great reprints in here. I'm curious. These look similar to like, and I saw Kaya too. Just remind me of it, the, the winter ones. So I'm mm-hmm. wondering if they're gonna be like really basic foils, like the winter ones, or if these are gonna be etched. Because if these are etched, these are gonna be looking really nice. I mean, uh, were the first anniversary box etched? I don't. I don't remember. I don't. I think they were. 
Was it the first anniversary? You guys tell us. Was the first anniversary edged? I honestly don't remember. I, but I feel like it was. I don't know. So we'll see. But um, the biggest surprise realistically here, though, is uh, these cards, technically, as of recording this video, these cards haven't even come out yet. And they're already getting a reprint. Yeah. For us. For, for us, yeah, yeah. yeah so but, I mean. By the time they get it, I mean, who knows how long until we get it. Well, a little bit. But it is cool that we're getting announcements of a reprint that they're including, like, 07 stuff in. Yep, yep. Because, I mean, it's just, just super nice. I mean, don't really need it. It's just coming out for us. But mm. who knows? Maybe it's, like, really sought after there. Or they just, I don't know, for flavor reasons or whatever, they decided to put them in. Not sure. But, yeah, it, it definitely 06 and before I'm glad to see that Zoro's quality reprint. And I'm still glad to see any, anything 07, really. And anything good, I'd like to see in here. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty solid cards. I mean, this is ran in a lot of, like, the Bonnie decks I run it. Uh, Sabo's obviously Kaya. Yeah. I mean, all these cards are ran cards. Uh, really, the exception is this one. It's, I don't really see this one ran too often. Yeah. But I have to imagine with the new Sanji leader coming out, this might actually be look, looked at now. Mm. So we'll see. Um, and then, of course, uh, some of this. So this is something, too, we were trying to read up more and find out more about. Um the new like so the new Don coming out looks sick. I mean these Don look fantastic. I have to imagine though these are going to be like I would assume like championship level, regional level, something like that, like some sort of leveling. The gold border makes me think that. Yeah, the gold border, and that and that leads in obviously these ones which look fantastic. But I mean these. So yeah, maybe what I'd like to believe is the the to the left is going to be like entry, Don, mm -hmm. and then to the right is like top as you go because it is kind of shit that you go like i, I think uh, for, the, for my last regional like they give me like extra dawn it's always the same one be, yeah like, it'd be nice if like reaching to that extra plateau of getting extra prize support gets you like a different kind of dawn so it's like oh hey, th you got this far instead of just like oh you got the an extra ed entry yeah i mean it, so if they're incorporating that that's a really nice idea well and one thing i would like to see too and i think this is also kind of where you're looking at it is uh uh obviously not getting all three dawn for entry but getting no, no. getting a pack, you don't know which Don you're gonna get. That's, they got to go back to doing that. They've got to do that. That would be so crazy great if that was what it was. It's so much better. So plus, it holds value better. Holds value better, and it's just more fun. Yeah, I mean, it's just all around is better. Um. So and then uh, obviously some more of the reprints. Uh, you know, as you know, our video we you know title is reprints are here. I mean, we know. Like, and these are some crazy good reprints. This is the one thing I do love about this game a lot more than I did about Yu-Gi-Oh. Is when you get reprints, they're not just giving you the same rarity or whatever. You're getting great-looking reprints. I mean, they, they genuinely take time and effort into making their reprints look good or into making their cards in general look really well. Mm. Yeah, even on initial release, all these look good, mm. especially the Kuzan. I mean, in both arts, the alt arts yeah. and, and, alt art and the secret. But yeah, this one's looking quality. In yeah. hands. I mean, that's nice. The peel-off, I'm really looking forward to. Kaido's been reprinted uh, about a trillion times, and I'm still <laughs> looking forward to that one. Otama, same thing, just got a regional, mm. just got a... I don't even know where the other one came from. It's like some other really expensive Otama. I saw, saw it. You know, a handful of times listen on Facebook. I don't know where it's from, but it looks good there too. What is that Baby Five and Blocker Chopper? Yep. Quality, quality. Hopefully, we get some more. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and then uh, obviously just some more of the pictures of some of the reprints. Uh, this one, uh, Boa the Four Drop. Um, the big one, Katakuri is getting a reprint. Uh, this was obviously big news because a lot of people have been crying about it. Essentially, I mean, and we've been saying it on a lot of our market watches is uh, we believe that this is coming. We know that this is the uh, championship card for store regionals. <clears throat> um, uh, this will be the top place one. So I'm really interested now that we have another reprint coming and it's going to be a reprint that people can actually get out of just boxes and stuff. Um, how this how this affects the original uh, category. And we will talk about that. Uh, check out uh, next Monday. We should have our market watch up. Uh, we'll, we'll do a market watch then and we'll go over and talk more in depth. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice to see. Yeah, no, I've been waiting a long time for this one because, mm -hmm. I mean, it was 30 bucks on release, which is, like, a real decent price to hold for mm -hmm. a card, and it just kept going up from there. Yeah. So, kinda, I, I had a, a set here and there whenever I'd, I'd mess with yellow for a little bit, but I'd always come off them because I'm like, ah, what if, what if, what if, and here it is. We finally got a reprint. Mm -hmm. We'll see what it does to the price, though. I'm interested to see if the premium means that they're going to charge a premium on the price of the pack, similar to what Magic does with, like, Horizons. Yeah. Or, 
any kind of like master set. So we'll we'll see what the price is going to be. I don't know if they've announced that yet. Well, we haven't. Not that I've seen. Yeah, we haven't seen anything on it yet. But yeah, uh, I, I think I also saw that they had regular art of this too, and this is like an alt art in the mm-hmm. set. So I mean, really cool, really cool stuff. And then uh, Tender Drop Dofi uh, wasn't a really expensive card. Anyways, but this art actually looks sick. It was getting there, though. It, it was. was. It was getting there, and then reprint announcements, like, I think it was confirmed somewhere. Uh, and then it just it went down, because it was starting to creep up. I remember I had a handful of copies sell for, like, eight. Yeah. So it was starting to creep up there from its original, like, dollar or two. But, yeah, I love this art. Yeah, I, I was think just saying, sick. it's way better than the other alt. Yeah. So, I mean, just anything showcasing him actually doing his thing mm. with his power, it's nice. <coughs> and then this one, so these are actually interesting because uh, these ones, so obviously we see the the uh, the three different versions of it, but this kind of highlights a little bit here, and we'll go to the next page. This highlights it more, though, if you guys can uh, see on here. It looks like maybe a new rarity coming in. Uh, the Straw Hat Pirate logo uh, on these cards, and we got these two as well as the Otama. Um, it makes us wonder, like, is, is this a new rarity coming, or is this, like, is this a special thing for the premium? Or is this an altogether new rarity we're going to see in upcoming boxes? Yeah, yeah, it could be a new rarity. It could just be this specific thing. Uh, another thing I think is uh, I remember playing uh, Dragon Ball, like Masters, way back then, and they would always have different rarity for rares. So I wonder if maybe they're going to try and incorporate something like that, where this is like the rare of this set, and yeah. they try to incorporate different things. I don't know if they'll do it for every standard set, but maybe every premium they'll introduce a new type of rare. So, yeah, it's really cool to see. Uh, if, if that's like the, hol- the only hollow parts are that, maybe a little foiling on that would be nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, uh, Shirahoshi uh, reprint as well. Uh, this one doesn't look like it has the thing on it, but still just another cool reprint. Yeah, nice nice uh, full art there. Mm-hmm. And uh, the new sleeves. So, uh, obviously, so this one, I'm trying to see which one this one is. That is Goku. Oh, yep, that's Goku. Yep, Goku. Is that Marco? Uh, oh, yeah, Marco. Marco so, Sanj. Marco, Sanji, King, looks like, looks like, yeah, King, and Bonnie. Yep. So that Bonnie sleeve actually so looks all pretty four cool. Luffy's. So yep. So a bunch of Pikachu's. <laughs> um, and then uh, the Odyssey game. So uh, obviously a lot of people probably know uh, Odyssey's been out for PlayStation, and Xbox, uh, for uh, I think a year or two now. Um, it's it's a good game. It's not bad. I played it. Uh, it was okay for what it was. Um, but uh, now they're coming out with it for Switch. Now it is the deluxe edition. We don't know too much about that. The thing that makes me wonder though is. Uh, the two cards here, I don't know if those are in the in the game itself. So like you have to buy the game in order to get the cards, or if they're coming out with the cards separately. Uh, I'm really interested to see because there has been other games, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, a predominant one, where they've done uh, a lot of cards that hey you had to buy the video game in order to get the cards. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to see how that plays. Yeah, yeah. Without speaking the language, I don't even know if their language is even saying it right now. But uh, they could do either one. It could just be. Uh, they're including it in there because obviously it makes sense. Here's the picture of this product and here's two cards that are going to be in the product. Mm -hmm. Or it could just be, here's this product, it's coming out for Switch now. And then also go ahead and check these out because these are Odyssey cards we're incorporating into the TCG. So who knows? We'll see. I hope they do because I I did like those old, you know, like I remember they would have them in video games. They'd have them in like those Shonen Jump Mm -hmm. magazines. Always cool. Um, and then uh, a couple other things we want to talk about here. So Bandai Card Game Festival, this is something we uh, kind of alluded to at the beginning of the video. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, this is what Worlds was, or Nationals was last year uh, when they did this. Uh, a lot of different games get played. Uh, we'll have the new Union Arena as well, Dragon Ball, uh, Digimon, One Piece, all of them. Uh, the locations, though, are what's really important, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, I mean, lots of excitement about it. Uh, we'll see, it looks like, six card games total. Battle Spirits Saga and the Battle Spirits Trading Cards. So I don't know what that is about. If you play Battle Spirits, you'd know more about that. Uh, we've never played before. Um, but uh, I know Union Arena is getting a lot of hype. Uh, a lot of people are excited about that, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but one of the big things that's cool, though, so this is a map kind of of what the upcoming thing is looking like, uh, two North American championships. Uh, the finals is in September. That one is in Dallas. And then in January in Orlando. Um, <clears throat> also to know uh, store regionals. Looks like we're getting more store regionals and stuff. So if you are in North America, uh, this is exciting. Europe also is going to have two, which is fantastic. Um, looks like uh, Oceana and uh, Latin America is only going to get the one. But we are still having double is uh, is actually pretty crazy yeah. to have two. 
Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Multiple store regionals for each, because uh, it looks like, I, I would hope there's like one, so you got some running through July and August uh, in the first season, and then October, November, December, which makes more sense to have a shorter season, you have more store regionals mm. for people to get to that second, you know, season two nationals. So hopefully, hopefully some good showings. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, it's a step in the right direction. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we really need to get more regionals too, so we have an opportunity to actually get to these nationals. And I'm glad, I'm, we have, we have a Dallas one because I remember the Los Angeles one. There's no way I have to drive. I can't do planes. I get motion sickness like crazy, so I could not make the LA one. So, but Dallas, I'll definitely go to. Well, and the one thing I'm wondering too about Dallas, and I actually just thought about this, was I wonder if they're going to do something similar there that they do with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, which is are they going to have regionals there? Are they going to run small smaller flights of regionals where first place gets the invite? Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, th they do that for a lot of their events. I wonder if they're going to do that. Have side events where, Didn't hey. they do that you, on Fridays, like day before the well, event? Well, not necessarily because if you figured they could do it all the days because you have another North America one coming up in January. Oh, that's right, yeah. You so. Get an invite while you're, yeah, it gives you a ton of reasons to be there, even if yeah. you're not there for the actual tournament. No, I'm definitely planning on being there for that, 100%. Um, that's going to be exciting. Uh, we'll definitely see. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, no, lots of exciting news, though, guys. Uh, we're super happy to bring it to you. Uh, if you do have any comments, anything like that, uh, obviously, we don't speak Japanese, so a lot of that stuff we just couldn't read. We didn't know enough about. If you do or if you know more about it, definitely leave comments. Let us know. We'd love to learn more about it. Um, if you guys are going to make it to any of these events, let us know. Uh, we'd love to see people there. Uh, but, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in joining our Discord, make sure you check the link out down below. So have a great day, guys. Take it easy.